How's it going, guys? And welcome back for a brand new episode here on the Onyx Wheel. There is less than 24 hours until TNT enables. And hopefully I'll be able to capture the last 24 hours of the grace and then hopefully one or two raids after. But before the video begins, make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. You can comment just about anything, it really doesn't matter, but it does help quite a lot with the statistics. Other than that, make sure you join your daily dose of Dexter by hitting the bell and subscribe to my channel. But without much more talking, let's go ahead and dig straight into the video and let's get this party started. With less than 24 hours left of the grace period, our faction have been working non-stop to get the base finished. If you remember from last episode, and if you haven't checked that one out, go ahead and do that right now. But if you haven't checked it out, we haven't done one single bit of the obsidian buffer. But as you can see, we have done some massive progress and we're actually getting there. Now I should say that this right here alone is gonna cost us million upon millions. So we have saved up quite a lot of money to be able to do this and i think that we might actually be able to finish oh yeah and we also finished our roof art now i'm not really sure if i can actually fly high enough up i can't even you know i can't even load all the things I'm gonna say boji and then they have this little here in the middle uh, which is a face or something i don't really know but yeah anyways as i said we have been doing quite a lot of obsidian i'm pretty sure is this one done no no, no. so we have barely started on uh, what's this called the south side all the work has been done on the east side so let's go ahead and take a look at at the east side i'm also pretty sure that we are at the moment pvping people on top of our walls as well other factions have figured out that we are starting to gen in a ton of obsidian walls so they've been jumping all across our walls the past 20 minutes to try to get an ecg set but as you can see we've actually made some pretty damn decent progress a project that i have been working on the past i would say two days is something that i can most likely finally show you guys one thing it requires though is that i need to know where joker's cannon box is gonna be as you can see they do have a claim right here but i hardly doubt they're gonna be able to shoot from right here without us noticing so i assume they're gonna do it far far out but anyways guys let's go ahead and dig straight into this episode and get some base work done Alright guys, just a small update. We finished off the entire side. What is that? That's east side. And we're now working on the south side. And as you can see, we're about 50% done. It is costing us a lot of money. So people are grinding in and came to help as much as possible. But look how little we have left. From right there to over there is all we have left. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight back into Jenning. And yeah, and I'll see you guys as soon as we're done. All right, guys, it looks like we are completely done genning. And next up is actually watering all our walls. And the easiest way to do that is actually go to the end of our buffer and place a ton of water buckets. So if you go into the shop, go into the raiding part right here and use the multi-use water buckets. That is 1,000 uses. All we have to do is make sure that we place water just like this all the way around. And then one single source will connect all of the water and make an ocean. So without further ado, guys let's go ahead and dig straight into it and yeah just get this ocean done all right so it looks like i might have fucked up here guys it looks like we haven't actually done the ocean so if we mine down we need to do this ocean right here with all this ice now that right there is actually pretty damn easy all we gotta do is just to make sure that we break one layer at a time and then we should be good now i'm pretty sure i can break it like this nope i can't okay well that sucks we're gonna need someone that has a very fast pickaxe to do this because walking like this is not gonna go i'm pretty sure that we can probably get a good pickaxe somewhere uh, well, let me see if it's in cvi that is of course not what we're looking for maybe if i put haste on this pickaxe it might actually do a difference so let me go to f1 blazes and see if i can get uh, haste onto this pickaxe and see what's going on all right haste 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 where are you there you are perfect let's go ahead and put that on to that pickaxe right there and let's go home back and see if we can insta break i 
ice now. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can insta break ice. I'm looking to get. Nope, it doesn't look like we can insta break it. We're gonna need a faster pickaxe than this, and I don't really have one. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a time lapse of these guys doing it instead. And once we are done, we can finally water all the walls. Alright guys, it looks like we finished off the ocean down here as you can see. I'm not really sure if we finished off on the other side, so let me go ahead and take a quick look. Alright, so this right here is the other ocean. It do Oh god, oh no. I actually thought this one here was done. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But I do think I'm gonna do this off camera, or else the episode is gonna be way too long. So I'll see you guys as soon as all the oceans is done. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure we just finished the last layer of this ocean and that finally means that we can start putting up some water on top of our wall now one thing we need to do before we do that is actually line out where our trap is going to be so all of these areas over here they have to be built in like this it should have been obby but now oh well so what we need to do is uh, actually water the entire area all the way around all our walls so without further ado guys let's go ahead and speed this up and uh, yeah just get this done Alright guys, there we go. I smashed water absolutely everywhere all the way around our walls. And as you can see, it is already starting to make a huge ocean. The only negative side about this is that there might be a lot of holes in this. As you can see over here, somebody just fixed it. We need to do it all the way around our counters, our traps, and so on and so on. So I assume this is gonna take at least 30 minutes to actually completely do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right here and switch to whenever we are done all right guys there we go that was the last free air on top of our base next step is pretty much trying to get rid of all the nether wreck and there is an easy way to do that if we go into our first pv you can see we have something called a wall clearing pickaxe now what's really smart about a wall clearing pickaxe is that it removes any block that has air underneath it so let's go ahead and try this one out and see what happens so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five. So if I do this right here, it should get rid of... There we go. Isn't it just beautiful? And that is pretty much all we need to do all across our entire base. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig straight into it. And yeah, let's get some walls water. Alright guys, we are completely done getting rid of all the network within our walls. So in theory, our base is actually 100% done. While I was getting rid of the nether wreck, the people were actually making sure that the counters were built. If we do slash grace right now, you can see there's 7 hours and 26 minutes until TNT enables. But there's one more thing I want to do before the grace disables. And that is making an obsidian box around all our IGs. So that way, they can't just shoot for the creepers, get into the creepers, sec the creepers, and then just manually go over here and start throwing shit. So I want to go ahead and make a box all the way around our IGs. So that way, there's absolutely no way to get all our spawners in just one single time debris. Now, of course, I'm not thinking that we are going to get split. But if we do get split, I at least want to make it somewhat hard for them to actually get everything. So the last thing I'm going to do before the grace ends is making this box. If we do slash grace, you can see there is 4 hours and 28 minutes until TNT enabled. So once this box here is done... I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and then switch to whenever grace has ended and yeah let's just go ahead and have some fun
All right, okay, guys, there's the one time. second left of the grace period, and there like we go. Grace period has uh, now uh, ended, and as you can probably you hear in the background, my uh, faction uh, is for sure uh, ready uh, for uh, TNT. I'm pretty uh, sure they uh, already uh, lined uh, up uh, at uh, Joker's uh, base, uh, so let's go ahead and join the Discord and see what's going uh, on. Uh, oh, God, the, uh, sand uh, is not even, the wall is gone, but the sand is still here. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's do well, I'm getting this guys, guys, guys. This, is, this is not gonna work out, guys. To be honest. Yeah. Stop the cannon. Go to a combo mode and start dropping kids. This is not yeah, gonna work out. It's not this cannon lag in the server. It's got 1k defense. Yeah. Alright, so it seems like that didn't really go as planned. The server is so laggy that it's almost impossible to do anything. I think the reason for that is that every single guy on the entire server is trying to fire a cannon. And you have to keep in mind there's 250 players on at the moment. So I have no idea how many cannons is shooting at the moment, but everything is just lacking. And to be honest, it's impossible to do anything and also impossible to record on. Now I'm almost certain that this is only because the grace just ended and everybody is either watering the rest of their walls or shooting some huge huge cannon. So I think it's best if we end off the episode right here even though I have a lot of raids planned out I think I have to wait maybe a day until the server has kind of calmed down. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Factions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. Join your daily dose of Zexa by hitting the bell notification and subscribe to my channel. Other than that Make sure you use my custom IP when connecting to the Urcon. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time.